September 16, 2017, the day where a rivalry finally met. Two boxers, two undefeated champions went toe to toe for the middleweight title. Gennady, Triple G, Golovkin and Saul Canelo Alvarez gave it their all but the fight was a draw. They met again on the 15th of September 2018. The fight is known to be controversial by many, but many believe that Canelo deserved the victory, but they meet again. At the T-Mobile Arena on the 17th of September 2022, four years after their last meet in the ring, many believe that Canelo Alvarez is going to stop Golovkin this time. So let's break down how Canelo will be able to beat Golovkin again. The jab, the best way for Canelo to gain control of the ring and slow down Golovkin's momentum is by using a strong jab. By using a good strong jab what Canelo will be able to do is he'll be able to control the ring, set up his combinations and also push Golovkin back. By pushing Golovkin back Canelo will gain the ring generalship and control of the fight. Ring generalship. In this clip look at these two split screens. On one side you have Canelo on the back foot with Golovkin pressing the action. On the other side you have Canelo pressing the action and pushing Golovkin back onto his back foot. Which fight do you believe was the first one and the second one? Well the video to your right was when Canelo fought Golovkin for the second time and everyone believed Canelo won. Canelo being able to push Golovkin back really gave him control of the ring. By pushing Golovkin back he is pushing Golovkin into a zone he has never been to before and this is what he will need to do in the third fight as this will create more opportunities for Canelo to land his powerful punches. Just quickly if you really want to improve as a boxer why don't you get your boxing training sessions analyzed by me. These analyzed clips are going to be very similar to the ones that are in my videos but they are going to be based solely on you to help you become the best boxer you can become. Here is my email address. If you are interested then please message me and let's get started. Okay back to the video. Attacking the body. Golovkin is a fighter who is known to have a dynamite chin but has his body been tested? Canelo is known to throw vicious body punches which some have even dropped and finished his opponents. He needs to land these body punches against Golovkin because what this will do is this will slow Golovkin down later on in the fight and also help set up those powerful punches to Golovkin's face. Cautious of Golovkin's right hand. Golovkin is one of the hardest punchers in his division. His power punches have helped him win many huge fights. Canelo must be cautious of his right hand especially. This is because Golovkin's right hand has knocked out many fighters. Canelo must throw his left hook or left uppercut or jab and keep his backhand back to his chin because if he does not do this Golovkin will be able to land a right hand through his guard and knock him out. The use of combinations. Canelo knows by throwing single punches Golovkin will either counter or block these. What Canelo needs to do is throw combinations. By throwing combinations he will pressurize Golovkin and also create more opportunities to land powerful punches. Canelo is already known as a brilliant combination boxer. He must land these against Triple G. But Canelo must remember to make the combinations both to the body and the head. Canelo needs to make sure that he is not just throwing or aiming his punches to one area. He needs to throw his punches both to the body and the head. By mixing up your combinations this confuses your opponent which means you have a higher chance of landing a clean punch. Canelo must mix his combinations to beat Triple G once again.